take my chances either way So come and fuck my life up, baby, fuck my life Hey guys, Ronnie Wolf here back with another video <clears throat> And today is my first video in a while And I thought I'd start um, re-uploading Because um, I got a new PC The reason why I wasn't uploading uh, a while ago Is because my old computer was trash And it would not load anything So we got that all fixed and we're back so the first video back i figured that i would post a mizzou tiger schedule prediction video we are two games or two days away from the college football seasons officially starting i mean we have games today which is thursday and then tomorrow which is friday but saturdays are kind of the official start you know what i mean um so yeah i'm gonna go through what i think our schedule is gonna um look like and what i think who we're gonna beat and who we're gonna lose you know what i mean so let's just get out right into it so the first game we have Mizzou versus Wyoming. We are playing Wyoming away. Um, we played them home uh, last year. We beat them pretty good. I can't remember the final score, but I know we beat them by a good amount. Um, I'm not really worried about Wyoming. Um, us playing them away. I'm not too worried about it. I think this is going to be a fun game to watch, though, to see kind of how Kelly Bryant does, how our defense does, um, Jalen Knox, Cam Scott, you know, like all those guys coming back. So, yeah. I think we get a dub for this one. There's one win. West Virginia versus Missouri now. If we played West Virginia last year, this would be a great matchup, right? They did lose a lot of players. They lost uh, Will Greer. Will Greer, was, Will Greer had a great year last year. Um, West Virginia overall had a good, pretty good year. But um, this year, I really don't think they're supposed to be as good. And um, so, yeah, this is why I think we are going to win this game. So we're going to be 2-0 and starting out the season. <coughs> Then we go to play Southeast Missouri at home. Um, once again, not really worried about Southeast Missouri. I think I don't even think they're a Division One school. I think they probably are, but like you know. So we're gonna beat Southeast Missouri, which is gonna put us at three and zero. And I think by this time, maybe even after the West Virginia game, but at least I think by after this game, we're gonna be ranked because we're twenty six in the AP poll. We were the first team receiving the most votes. So yeah. And then we go play South Carolina at home now. We had a bad loss for South Carolina last year. There was a lot of factors that kind of went into that loss. Um, it was a delay. It was rainy. Um, we lost in a last-second field goal. I don't know their kicker's name, but yeah, Tucker McCann for us drilled like a, I think it was like a 57-yarder or something to like give us the lead. But anyway, I think we should have won that game. But as yeah, so we get them at home this year, though, which is good. Um, I don't think South Carolina is really expected to do anything this year. I'm not really worried about them. So I think we'll take the win in this game. We're 4-0. Troy versus Missouri. We have Troy at home. So for Troy last year, I'm pretty sure they had a pretty good uh, record. I think they went like 9-4 and four or something like that. 10-4 and four or something like that for their Sun Belt. I think they're in Sun Belt. So, um, yeah, I think Troy had a good year last year for uh, their conference, but I don't think they're anywhere near... Um, where we're going to be this year, so I think we're going to win that game. We're 5-0. and Playing Ole Miss at home, we actually have all these home games in a row. It's five home games in a row. Playing Ole Miss at home, I'm not really worried about Ole Miss. Um, usually Ole Miss is kind of like like average, I'd say, like almost every year, except for the one year they beat Alabama. But, um, yeah, I don't really think Ole Miss is going to be anything special because they, I mean, they're, they usually win around six, seven games, I think. So, yeah. I think we'll take the dub on Ole Miss, so we're 6-0. and Going into the Vanderbilt game, we play Vanderbilt away. Last year, we played like shit versus Vanderbilt. We did win, but we did not play good at all. The reason why we won that game is because we had four, two fourth and one stops. I think both of them were at the goal line. One of them was at the goal line, I know. But anyway, I really don't see Vanderbilt beating us. I think we're going to be really strong this year, and these first seven games of our schedule are pretty easy. So I think we're going to take the dub versus Vanderbilt. We're going to be 7-0. and I think we're going to be ranked in at least at least the top 20 going into this game. Maybe we'll crack the top 15, maybe 15th, 14th. I don't know. Probably not, but there's a chance, I think. It just depends like what the other teams do. We're going and playing Kentucky away. Now, we lost to Kentucky last year, which was a very heartbreaking loss, and I'm still kind of pissed off about. But anyway, we play Kentucky away. I honestly don't know what's going to happen in this game. I think there's a lot of factors that can go into it. I think we could be 7-0, and and we could just be very confident. You know, we could just be kind of cocky and come in that game and lose. Also, Kentucky's not really expected to be as good this year as they were last year because they lost um, their uh, Benny Snell, 
they um they lost uh what's it called uh oh yeah well they they lost some of their good players oh yeah they also lost uh Josh Allen so I really don't think they're gonna be as good this year but I think the fact I think I think just because we're playing them the way that we could lose it seems like Kentucky kind of always beats us um. I don't know. I think it's just going to be a good game. We'll come back to that. We'll talk about that in a minute. Mizzou versus Georgia. We're playing in Athens, Georgia. Last year, we had actually a decent game against Georgia, even though the score didn't show. I think we honestly had a chance of winning that game. I know it sounds crazy, but there was a lot. Like, they fumbled the ball before they scored, and it wasn't called. Um, I don't know. It's just it, it's a lot of it's a lot of things that we honestly could have done to beat Georgia last year. I'm not in line, but... Play them away. I really don't think we'll win this game. We're gonna lose. So far, we're seven and one, not counting this Kentucky game. And now we go and play Florida at home. Now we beat Florida last year away. They were eleventh in the country. Went into uh, went into went into their stadium and beat them. It was a great game. It was really fun to watch. I mean, I didn't really, I couldn't believe we won that game. Anyway, will we beat Florida again this year? I don't know. There's a lot of factors that could go into it. If we do somehow beat Kentucky, I think we'll be we'll be eight and one going into this game, and I think we'll still be ranked because we're not going to get unranked from losing to Georgia, right? So, if we do come into this game, there's a chance we'll be eight and one, and that'll be a big game for us. I don't know if we can handle the pressure, and in my opinion, it all just depends on what Felipe Franks for Florida does. Now he's either accurate, he's either Decent or pretty inaccurate, honestly, as a quarterback. I don't really think he's too good, uh, personally. And also, watching them play Miami, because that game already has happened, um, it seems like they really didn't play too good versus Miami. I think Miami should have won that game, even though it's a lot of turnovers. It was bad football, honestly. And if Florida isn't is plays like they did la that game, I really think we do have a strong chance of beating them. We're going to come back to these two games, though. I'm not going to say a win or loss yet. <laughs> Tennessee versus Missouri. We beat Tennessee 50 to 17 last year away. Um, I think we have a pretty good chance of beating Tennessee again this year, and we'll play them at home. Seems like we always do pretty good against Tennessee, so I think that's a win. <laughs> so so far, we are uh, eight and one, not counting these two games. And then Mizzou versus Arkansas. We play them in Fayetteville, so we're away. Um, we actually do play them at uh, uh, Arrowhead Stadium in 2020, which is gonna be really fun. I should be at that game. But anyway, I really. I really don't see Arkansas beating us this year. So I think we're going to take the dub versus Arkansas. So that puts us at 9 and 1 from this from not counting um Kentucky and Florida. In my opinion, I think we'll win at least 9 games, right? Could it be 10? Yes. Could it be 11? I don't think so because I think we always lose that one game that we should have won, you know. Last year was Kentucky and South Carolina. This year, I think it could be Kentucky or Florida. So my schedule prediction for Mizzou is 9-3 and three to 10-2. and two. Now, I don't know which one it is. I don't think there is a chance we'll go 8-4. and four. Maybe we'll lose to South Carolina or Ole Miss, you know, or 10. Who knows? But I think we'll go 9-3 and three or 10-2, and two, right? I think not, I think ten and two is very reachable. We, all we got to do is beat Kentucky, and then we could give up a loss to Florida. You know what I mean? <laughs> but if we can just beat Kentucky, I think we'll be set, right? I think we'll go nine and three or ten and two. I'm sort of leaning more towards ten and two because I think we can take care of Kentucky. It just depends what factors are in that game. You know what I mean? So yeah, there's my um, schedule prediction video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, be on the lookout for a video maybe tomorrow, maybe. Um, it just depends if I can do it or not. And, um, yeah, that's my first video in a while. I'll start trying to post some more. Like once the season starts, I'll post highlights for games and stuff. So, um, yeah. Um, this is Roy, and I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Peace. Hard up, fuck a sip, girl, I fuck a true or die Come and fuck with me a bit, drunk as fuck, seeing triple Lord, you just really thick, know you dancing on her, and he can't you dance upon her?